Hello everyone, thank you for joining me today. My name is Dmitry Vinik and I'm a developer advocate on the Meta open source team. Today I'll be explaining the project React DevTools in an easy to understand way. So let's go. Before explaining React DevTools, I need first to introduce React. React is an open source JavaScript library used for building interactive user interfaces on websites or apps that relies on declarative views and components to simplify development. React DevTools is an extension to this library that allows you to inspect a React tree, including the component hierarchy, props, state, and more. By downloading the extension for the browser of your choice, you will gain access to several new tabs in the browser's DevTools, like Components and Profiler. The Components tab shows you the root React components that were rendered on the page and subcomponents that they are ended up rendering. The Profiler tab allows you to record performance information. React was open sourced by Meta in 2013, and the first set of React DevTools was made public a year later, in 2014. Since then, millions of engineers worldwide at companies large and small have used React to build web applications. To learn more about React, visit its website and check its GitHub repo for installation guidelines and examples. You can download the React Dev tools for different browsers in their respective extension stores. You can also engage with the React community on Twitter, Discord, Facebook, and many other channels on the React site. If you'd like to see more about React and React Dev tools on this channel, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.